Okay, um, welcome to this video guys. So I literally just, I, I woke up this morning and I was, uh, I went and I took a cold shower. I usually take like, a, I do some cold water kind of like therapy, but it's not really cold water therapy. It's just I take a cold shower um, and you know, I try to wake up <laughs> and then I make myself some tea. But basically I decided, okay, I'm going to record this video because I said yesterday on my story, on Instagram that I will record a story talking more about the process uh, that I'm undergoing and what I am experiencing specifically when it comes to uh, building South Build systems, what I've learned, a thing, few things that have helped me in the process really um, stay aligned and um, really figure out what my alignment is firstly and then you know being able to build from there because as I've said, there are, and I've got a few notes in here that I will go over, but as I've said, it, there's a few things, and I'm literally just gonna um, gunsling this from my, from my hip. There's a few things that basically really, really matter when it comes to building a business or uh, launching a product, or basically, you know, building a business and then obviously moving towards launching a product. And uh, number one, I'm gonna get to the whole alignment thing right now, but number one, would be to establish obviously do you actually are you are you solving a threat level one issue so what does that mean it specifically means is in the market that you're in right whatever that market might be right have you have you went out and have you asked the right questions right have you talked to enough people about this specific problem that you've discovered and have you done the market research to enable you to be like, okay, you know what? I know that these people have this problem and yes, I can go ahead, create something that can solve that problem, whatever that problem might be. That obviously then leads to you having to establish product market fit. So product market fit essentially means that yes, you have this idea, you now can go out into the, uh, into the world where you primarily want to sell the thing, right? whatever the thing is, before you even go and build it. Now, I did the opposite thing in my first lesson. <laughs> um, I, I kind of had some market, I did actually have some decent market research. I went, I spoke to people in person, um, different areas and, and different uh, cities where I went to. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna spin up this product. And then I went uh, into the market, marketing it, selling it, etc. However, with self-built systems in general, I understood the, the, the correct solving order when it comes to like basically taking your product or your thing to market, right? Because at the end of the day, uh, when you, you can only take it really to market once you've established that you have product market fit, because before that, you don't really have anything because you just have an idea and an ego that's driving you and be like, you know what, I'm gonna make this thing work but you're fighting all of these market forces, right? So those are a few things, but how do you, how, like, let's push that a, one side again. How do you get to, to building something? How, how, how do you decide that I'm going to be an entrepreneur person or I'm going to be a person that's working a nine to five and maybe trying to work, like, get my thing to work on the side or whatever the equation might be. I'm gonna go to university and start a business what how wherever you are right now because i know if you're my age you know people that are um, in their very very early 20s uh, this is the things that will be going through your mind right so number one i'm going to open up these notes here because this will be very of uh, um uh, it will be very valuable for for you to understand this so i specifically talked about this on my story the other day is that when you're in your process you're learning about yourself how do you learn more about yourself is you go and spend time alone. That's the only way you learn more about yourself. It is also usually the biggest problem that people face is because a lot of people like can't be alone. They just can't. They have to have someone with them. And that's okay. If you're, if you're a yellow kind of person where you want to be very social all the time, that is good. But it also has its, its bad you know, sides as every equation has the, the, the yin and the yang, right? So what we must do is we must first ask the question is what is what do we want, right? What is it that you want to achieve? Because 
my belief is that your vision that you have entailed in your mind is obviously tailored and crafted through number one, old experiences that you had, things that you really want to work on and achieve and the higher power, whether you believe in a higher power or not, has given you sets of vision, sets of scenarios, situations that you had to work through. These, all, the, all these things, they prepare you for your thinking, right? They prepare you in ways of action. They prepare you in ways that basically allow you to drive forward. And many times we, we, we want a certain something, but in order for us to get that certain something, there are a bunch of things that we need to go through in order to become the person to achieve that something, whatever it is, a car, a business, money, it does not matter, right? There's a thing, there's a few things we need to learn. And number one, I'm not from a wealthy family, so I want to make this point real quick. If you are born in a wealthy family, right, then you have the upper hand on one equation. Let's say you're born in a very wealthy family. The only upper hand you really have is your experience. You could maybe learn from your pops or your uncle, right? And then that's great because you can start learning whatever it is that they're doing. You might be interested in that. And then your wealth accumulation is just going to be faster. But it's not, it does not mean that you're going to be better than the person that was not born in a wealthy family, okay? Just to basically make that clear because the people, if you go and study uh, multi like center millionaires, like billionaires, a lot of these people, okay, some of them were born wealthy families, but there's a lot of them that were quote unquote self-made, etc. They were, they came from like a third world country, they moved to America, you know, they have that whole story where they had to sleep on a little mattress, etc. right? Um, they had the whole rags to riches kind of scenario where those scenarios are what primes you to go out and hunt and work and do things and learn things. So number one, how do we find this alignment is that specifically alignment is energy, right? So we, we live in this, uh, in this quantified world, right? If you go look at quantum physics, that's what I'm referring to right now. So you understand the quantum behind the, the, the energy, then like look into that. I'm not going to talk a lot about that right now. It's really interesting stuff. Just look into some quantum physics based stuff. So, um, alignment is just energy, right? And it is specifically the focus, right? That drives the energy. So the more you ask the right questions, the more questions you ask, the more you ask the right questions, the more you will get the right answers. You'll bump your head here and there. You'll see the shiny thing. You'll see the make money quick thing here, which will always be there. And it will be like this thing that's, if you're building like these shiny things, they'll pop up. It might be a girl. It might be uh, it might be a shiny thing that's trying to distract you off of what you're trying to do, like um, and I will talk about females later. Uh, females are actually like very very important in in your process, but it's not something you have to um, worry about. There's a lot of beautiful people out there in this world, but do not worry about that. Um, so another thing here is that focus specifically, you know, focus and alignment to service to others. So what does that mean? It means that through our actions, through the things that we learn, the skills that we acquire, how do we take those skills and help someone else? So this thing comes down to reverse engineering the process of learning, okay? You have to learn how to learn before you learn what to learn, okay? So I hope that makes sense because in, in, in this case, it specifically just means that, okay, so now that you understand how to learn, you can go learn what to learn and you can get good at learning the skill and then you can go to the physical, uh, application of that skill. So yesterday I met with one of my mentors. Um, he's an investor in Southfield Systems and um, I'm going to talk about this process I had to undergo with actually raising capital for Southfield Systems a little bit later. But um, the one main takeaway, I learned a lot of things yesterday, but the one main takeaway that he told me, because he's a, he's a fund manager, um, manages billions and um, we'll, we'll talk about that later, which was very, very interesting for me to uh, meet this person to learn from this person and to be able to share with this person because I really value that now Specifically what he said is that Like the phase where you are he was speaking to me right now, right? It's more it's more about the physical application of doing more quality based reps and getting better at doing the actual thing Right. That's what he told me. He said don't worry about going because I asked him a few questions Should I go study this thing? Should I go do this thing? 
and he said, hey, look, um, what is that thing that you want to do? Do you want to do A or do you want to do B? If you want to do A, then push it, go do more of this, right? Because this thing, you can always go and do this thing as in, like, I'll, I'll talk more about which is A and B later on, but it's, it's just not important for now. So basically alignment stems from asking the right questions, as I've said here, right? So specifically this comes towards the questions, to question things, ask why. Because uh, there's this uh, quote by, um, I heard this from Alex Hormozzi, but he quoted Orphan, uh, Orphan something on this. It's like, if I can remember it correct, it, it, it follows in the line of like, we question all of our beliefs, except the ones we truly believe. So it's kind of like you, you believe that one truly, but you don't question that one. And I'm going to put the quote in here because I didn't say it right. But um, it's very, it resonated with me a lot because we're just born into certain situations and we, we just we get indoctrinated with, with certain things, how, how people have been thinking. It's basically thinking, all jewels down to thinking. Because your thinking in general is what allows you to then arrow yourself towards painting and creating a certain life that you want, but it all stems from your thinking. It stems from your inputs, right? Your inputs, what you read, what you see on Instagram, what you see on the internet, what movies you watch, all these things subliminally, basically they go, they, they program you, right? That's why you keep hearing people say this because it's the truth. It's like, I read um, a book this morning before making uh, this video. I was like, yeah, let me just make this video. I was like, no, I'm going to read first. That's what I must do before I shoot this video. So that's a redundant habit and routine that I've brought into my life, right? I get that out of the way and I know if that's done, I can go ahead and do the rest of the things I have to do in my day, right? So again, we have to have alignment, number one. So alignment because we have our faculty of imagination. We as humans, we are the only species who can imagine, right? So that means specifically that we have this imagination, your mind palace. That's why people say, hey, you have to have a vision of where you're going. You have to know what you're working on so you can see it every single day so that you stay on track. What then follows after that is specifically that keeps you aligned. It's not going to be like, um, and then boom, shit falls in here. No, the that whole process, like meditation is part of that process because meditation, number one, is what clears your thought process so that you can actually think, right? So there's also a bunch of other things that meditation does, but point being is that number one, alignment with your energy. Number two, then what happens is you have to have faith in the process. If you align yourself, if you work, if you ask the right questions, you'll start making and building momentum, right? Then that's the hard thing is keeping up with that momentum. I said like, whether you want guns, whether you want whatever it is you want to achieve, it's the hard thing of doing the work every single day, showing up, right? Having the faith, showing up, knowing that your actions lead to a certain outcome, work that you're learning is transforming and turning you, it's changing you into the person that you are bound to become. If you want to earn X amount of money, have to do X amount of things. So also one thing I've recently really drilled in on is that we as humans, right? We, we love, we've been programmed through school to, to chase that little gold star, learn what's in the book, memorize what's in the book, get great tests of copy pasting it into the, the whole system, and then basically getting a little red or a little crossy, right? So then that means that we keep chasing this gold star. We keep like, we run athletics, we boom, you get a gold star, great. Well done, you get this medal, right? You, you know what I mean? So that's just not how the world works outside of how we've been programmed, right? We should rather be focusing on learning the skill sets, applying the skill sets, rather than focusing on immediately earning something because the world does not owe you anything. It does not matter how hard you work until you have actually earned it, until it shows in your bank account, then you have earned it, right? There is nothing else in between. And I'm gonna keep the mumbo jumbo because the number three thing I have here, we have number one is your alignment. Number two, we have faith. And number three is work. We have to work. Work can translate into play as well. It doesn't have to be called work because the person who plays more is the person who's always going to be on top of his or her game because he's playing, he's creating, he's, he's in flow, right? And um, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, I didn't want to keep this too long. So again, if you like these videos, please go ahead. Please like this video. Please leave a comment in the comment section below on what you think about this video. I'm going to be doing more of these videos. And as always, guys, go out into this world and do something great for somebody today. Bye-bye.